Um, well, the stat that stands out to me the most is uh, they had 43 rebounds and we had 27. And, and so we could not, uh, the first half, we could not pull a defensive rebound to save our life. And, and they scored uh, 13 points off of boards and just in the first half alone, uh, not for sure in the second half. And so that was the biggest difference for, for us, I believe. And we had not had an issue with that um, all year long. And so not a great day to have, have that problem. But um, can't say enough about this team. We were predicted to be tied second in our district. And no one in Southwest Virginia thought that we would be here. And it's because of these two ladies and everyone working together as a team. That's why we're here. Questions? Talk about Azzy's performance there. I think she was hitting so many crazy shots. But you've seen that every night. So. Um, I, I said this whenever we played Burton. She hit uh, pretty much the game winning shot, right? Um, but big time players make big time shots. And so I believe uh, tonight put all the voices that, all the negative voices that we've heard, right? You've heard. And, um, has put all those at bay, and she is uh, definitely one of the top players in the state of Virginia. And I've said that all year long. She's definitely one of the top shooters. And so I think this was the your game game of the year. What better day to have that? Talk a little bit about Taylor um, getting in every category, 18 points, 8 rebounds, 5 steals. We expect that from her. We just talked about that. Taylor is, uh, you, you know, you expect Azzy to have 25, 30 points a night, and, uh, and, and she does other things, but we kind of leak her out, right? And so that gives her some easy baskets, but um, Taylor's the one who, she'll go in and pull the rebound and tri dribble all the way down the court, and, and then she'll pitch it out to Azzy for a three. And so they make a good combo because a lot of people face guard her and it allows Taylor to penetrate. By Taylor's penetration, they have to help off. And so a lot of times we try to just isolate them too. And so it is, um, they play together wonderfully. And um, she she just, she does it all. <laughs> Big girl kind of got going there in the third quarter after halftime. Um, and especially that first possession where they come out right out of the locker room and hit a bucket, then you guys have a turn on the first possession. It was kind of like a microcosm of the game, wasn't it? It was. Um, our motto all year long has been win the third quarter, win the game. Well, we did win the third quarter, but the issue was was that it was 22 to 20, and that's just uh, that's too high for us. We want to stay in the 60s and keep them in the 40s, and of course we didn't do that. But um, we got into foul trouble. We had Reagan McCoy on her. Then after she got in foul trouble, then we had to put Lexi Carter, then she got in foul trouble. And so we were at second string post trying to guard probably one of the best post players in the state. Yeah, I mean, y'all kept getting into three there, two, one, just couldn't take the lead. I mean, I mean, you feel, still felt confident, right? I mean, when y'all were getting chipping away. Yeah, we um, what we felt like the air guards were better than their guards, and so we wanted to apply a lot of pressure. And so we'd have a turnover, and then they'd have a layup, and a turnover, and then a layup. And so we we started to chip away and chip away, but just like you said, we couldn't we couldn't get past the two or three points that we needed. We had some open looks, and we just missed them. And, and so there was a couple calls that um, I felt like hurt us too there in the fourth quarter. But they, you can't take anything away from them. Right behind it, they're, they're a good team. Girls, talk about your first state championship. Um, it's definitely not how I wanted it to go. But, sorry. I'm blessed to have been here with these girls and these coaches. It was definitely a good experience. Yeah, just uh, very happy to be here with their amazing team and coaching staff. And we would have never been here in the first place if it wasn't for everybody uh, who put effort into it. Like Coach said, no one even thought we were going to be here. We weren't even picked to win the district. Yeah. Taylor, talk about Assie. Like, how do you see that all the time, too? Just how, how, how dynamic of a player she is. Um, what impression she is the most? Yeah, she's, she's a heck of a player, uh, probably one of the other reasons, main reasons that we were in that game <laughs> in the first place, hitting some crazy shots. And, I mean, that's close to normal for her, but, I mean, tough. I mean, not easy shots. Always shows up. Anything else? Thanks, guys.